kwa uchina kwamba kuna mtu aliyekuwa ameingia katika uwepo wa Roho Mtakatifu. And he introduced me to a friend. Na akaweza kumtamsha kwa rafiki yake. And I thought this man opens is open to the Holy Spirit. Na akafikiri kwamba huyo mtu tayari amefunguliwa na Roho Mtakatifu. And he listened to many things I said. Akamsikiliza kwa mambo mengi sana aliyosema. But one time he took me to meet another pastor. Wakati mwingine pia alimchukua kaenda kukutana na mtu mwingine. And I shared about my ministry. Na pia akaweza kumtolea ushuhuda juu ya huduma yake. I said I do revival and training fanya uvuvio na maombezi. Now this person doesn't like it. Huyu mtu hayo mambo ya maombezi. Later he took this pastor. Baadaye akaongea na mtu aliyempeleka. And come to me. Na akaenda kwake. And then he said to me. Akamwambia. You said you do revival. Ulisema kwamba unafanya uvuvio. You think you're better than that pastor? Unafikiri kwamba wewe ni bora kuliko mchungaji? He has a big church. Yeye ana kanisa kubwa. Do you think do you think you can revive his church? Unafikiri kwamba unaweza kuleta uvuvio ndani ya kanisa lake? So So he was angry with me. Hayo alichukizwa sana na yeye. And he said all these naked words. Na akasema maneno mabaya zaidi yake. But when I listen, lakini aliposikia. Immediately I discern. Baraka haraka haraka sana akafanya maamuzi. He doesn't accept the work of the Holy Spirit. Kama huyu akubaliani na Roho Mtakatifu. It is his problem. Hilo ni tatizo lake. I just listen. Yeye alimsikiliza tu. I did not yell back. Hakumlipia hakumjibu vibaya. I just listen. Alimsikiliza mawazo yake. And after finish, baada ya yeye kumaliza kumwambia. He said God bless you. Akasema na Mungu akubariki. And then he left. Na yeye akaondoka. And this pastor said to me. Huyu mchungaji sasa akaenda kumwambia tena. Pastor Yip. Mchungaji Yip. You really marvelous. Wewe ni wa ajabu sana. He said all these negative things. Yaani mtu anaweza kuambia maneno yote mabaya wewe mchungaji sasa. You were not angry. Wewe unao umenyamaza tu hata hujachukia. You did not fight back. Wala hata hujajibu neno lolote. You just listen peacefully. Wewe msikiliza tu kwa amani na kumwacha aondoke. Because in my heart I said Because in my heart I said. Kwa sababu ndani ya moyo wake alisema. It doesn't what matter what he said. Yaani hayo anayosema wala mimi hayajalishi. It matters what God said. Kinachojalisha ni maneno kutoka kwa Mungu. Even if he says amen. Let me ask you. When you go home, when your family members say negative things, can you just nod your head and say, okay, I'll try to do it? And then you smile. You be nice to him. Unakuwa tu mzuri dhidi yao. And you say it doesn't matter. Na unaambia haijalishi hiyo. And you still be nice to him. Na unaendea tu kwa mzuri pamoja. Unaendea tu kwa naushika naye. And you still stay in the joy of the Lord. Lakini hata hivyo katika machukizo makubwa wewe endea rejoice in the Lord. Endea kujofurahika katika Bwana. Now, do you think you can do that? Je, mnafikiria mnaweza kufanya hivyo? Yes. I tell you. Nawaambia it is not easy. Sio vyepesi. It's not easy. Sio vyepesi. You have to do it intentionally. Lazima ufanye ukiwa umedhamiria. When you know some people you know that they are not nice to you. Unapojua kwamba watu fulani sio wazuri kwako. When they get angry, you know angry words are going to come out. Unajua ma mtu anapochukia maneno machukizo yatatoka kinywani mwake. So be prepared. Lazima ujiandae. When he says negative words, wanaposema maneno asbidi yako. When all the garbage come out, wakati takataka na uchafu wote na kumwambia matusi yote juu yako. Be prepared. Uo mejianda. And say it doesn't matter. Na useme kwamba haijalishi. Whatever he says. Ayo lio yasema. It's garbage. But I forgive him. I understand him. He has problem. I have compassion on him. Because people who hurt us has been hurt by other people. So I have compassion on him and forgive him and bless him. And I don't Amen. Let me tell you. This is not easy. Because of our sinful nature. But if you want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. We have to learn. Not to eat garbage. Amen. Amen. Now the point is, I want to ask you. Do you understand this? Yes. 
Do you really understand it when you go home? Je ni kweli kabisa mbele kama tunachofundisha hapa mtu akikukosea ufika nyumbani utakachofanya? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I know you say yes. Anajua amesema ndiyo. But I want to say, lakini anataka aseme. When someone yells at you, mtu anapokutukana. What is the most natural reaction from you? Jambo jepesi sana, jambo la kawaida kabisa kutoka kwako ni lipi? Would you immediately get angry? Mtaki kutukana na wewe vipi? Unafurahi tu? That is the most natural reaction. Yaani njia nyepesi kabisa mtu akikutukana ni ipi? Swali hiyo. Tell you inside you. Nataka nikwambie ndani yako. There you must have a fight. Lazima kuna kuwa na vita. Nilipize nisilipize. Your new nature and a sinful nature. Kuna kuwa na ule utu wa kale na utu mpya. The sinful nature says. Utu wa kale unasema. Get angry. Chukia na wewe. The new nature says. Utu upya unasema. It doesn't matter what he says. What he said is garbage. He is precious. I forgive him. But I don't have to eat the garbage. That's the new nature. But your, but your own nature says. It's unfair. Get angry. Do something back. And your new nature says. Put it down. Forget it. Let me answer. Which one is easier to win? Ni upi ambao mapesi kushinda? Kulipiza kisasi au kusame? Kusame. I'm feeling to forgive. Congratulations when you can do that. I'm JPG Makov Sabu Mishima. But I tell you, na nataka kambi yoki fanya hivyo. Most people's immediate response. What wengi mitikiwa wa haraka ni u? Is anger. Na e akitu kanoa achukie. Sindio jamii. Mm -hmm. It depends on how long you can take care of that anger. Inategemea ni jinsi gani unaweza kukabiliana na yale machukizo. If you are fast a few seconds you can take care of the anger. Kuna wengi ukiwa mwepesi utatumia muda mchache tu mechukia unaachana na zile asira. That is great. Hiyo unakuwa mshindi. If you take 10 minutes 20 minutes ukichukua dakika 10 dakika 20 it's already great. But some people take days and months. Someone stole your money. How long does it take for you to forget? And it's not easy, right? But believe this. When you don't eat garbage, when you let go of the garbage, trust in God for joy, God loves me, God will pay me back, I can trust in God. So I'm just saying, you find a fight inside. And then you tell yourself, if I get angry, I will lose the battle. But if I forget and trust in God, I have victory. And, and I want to say this. It takes time to take care of the emotions. If you can take care of it in half an hour, you are already very great. Amen. If you can take care of it in one or two days, it's already very good. Do you understand? Why it is difficult to take care of it? Okay. Any question? Swali, aliye na swali katika mafundisho jinsi ya kuweza kukabiliana na changamoto zinazosababishwa na watu walio kuzunguka. Aliye na swali. Now this is a very important teaching. Hili somo ni ramuhimu sana. Sige jamii. Amen. It's very useful. Ni ramuhimu sana na msingi. It can be very easy to do. It can be very easy to do. But it can be very difficult. You want to ask something? Do you want to ask something or are you agreeing? Ask her. She wants to ask something. A question, okay, come on.
She's saying like this. Someone say speak. loud. So say, say loud yeah, for the recording. For the recording. Okay, we'll have a sound. No, 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 but that's okay. You you say you say it She's saying like this. You, you say it for her. You say it for she is saying like this, that somebody has spoken garbage, has thrown garbage on you. Then you have kept quiet. But whoever he or she continues to be throwing garbage on you, what are you supposed to do? Okay. First thing, take care of my emotions inside. I want to take care of that anger as soon as possible. That's the first thing I said. Here on your jambo la this session, session. I have been talking about this. Katika kipindi kichote kizima. And the second thing. Jambo la pili. We want to turn around and have compassion on the person. Lazima ugeuke sasa ubadilishe mtazamo wako na uweze kuwa na hisia chanya juu yako. And say that this person hurts me because he has been hurt many times. Unamwamsema kwamba huyu mtu ameniumiza kwa sababu naye alishaumizwa na watu wengine. This person actually has a miserable life. Huyu mtu maisha yake ni ya uzuni tupu. So I have compassion on this person. Mimi namhurumia. And I can forgive. Nataka nimsamee. The third. Jambo la tatu. Find ways how to be nice to the person. Tafuta njia ya kuweza kufanya nae mahusiano mazuri. And sometimes we have to handle what he said. Na wakati mwingine lazima tujue jambo mambo gani tunayopaswa kuyazungumza. For different people the way is different. Kwa watu tofauti mwitikio mtazamo lazima uwe tofauti. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, let me tell you what are some different ways. Ngoja kuambie ni njia zipi tofauti ambazo unaweza kutumia. Some people are very very stubborn. Watu wengine ni vinganganizi sana. <coughs> Yaani asamei nikukutana mwendo mdundo mbili some family members they always yell at people kuna kuna baadhi ya familia tumeziona kwamba wao wao sehemu yao ni vurugu kwenda mbele if you answer to okay. to that person in a you know say shut up or don't talk like that kwenda kumwambia mtu kwamba bwana kwa nini unasema hivyo acha kusema hivyo he will talk 10 times more yaani yeye ukimwambia mpendo achana maneno atazungumza maneno 10 mbele yako si nivyo jamii have you met people like Mesha that? Kutana watu aina hiyo. Yes. Unamwambia achana na yeye ndio anazidi kusonga tu mbele katika matusi. Now for yeah. someone like that, mtu ana namna hiyo. Don't reason with them. Yaani wale usitake utaka kufikiria naye pamoja. The more you reason, utakavyoendelea kumshawishi, the worse it will be. Yaani ndivyo atakavyoendelea kuwa mbaya. Now sometimes maybe your husband or wife is like that. Wakati mwingine mume wako au mke wako anaweza kuwa hivyo. The more you reason, the worse it will be. Unavyo endelea kumbembeleza kuongea nae, nae mbio anavyo zidi kutupa matusi. So the best you can do is to say... Jambo la jambo saira kufanya ni hili. Okay, I'll work hard on it. Unamambia kwa ama, na shukuru ni tafanya, ni tajitahidi saidi. Please help me. Na ombo ni saidi. Okay. I'll I'll take care of that problem. Mtachukulika na hilo tatizo. So that's with some people who are very stubborn. Kwa wale watu ambo ni vinganganisi saidi. Okay, and there were some people who are not so stubborn. Still, we, we should not be angry. And we thank the person for what he said. And, and then we'll, we'll say, um, we can say something like this. Um, now it, it depends on each person. Pia inategemea ni mtu wa namna ya mtu alivyo. For some people who are willing to change. Kwa watu ambao wana utayari wa kubadilika. You can say something like this. Unaweza kuambia hivi. Um I heard what you said. Nimesikia ulichokisema. I thank you for reminding me. Na kushukuru kwa kunikumbusha mapungufu yangu. Um can I have a suggestion? Je, naomba nitoe ushauri. Next time when you say something like this to me. Wakati mwingine utakapokuwa na mawazo, utakaposema maneno, utaka kusema maneno juu yangu. Uh, can you say in a gentle way? Naomba uje tuongee uniambie kwa upole. Now if the person can change, kama mtu anaweza kubadilika. But it's hard to find someone like that. Lakini right? pia ni vigumu kupata watu aina hiyo. So for some people, watu wengine 
you can suggest next Na time we communicate how we can talk wakati mwingine jinsi mnavyoweza kuongea now for some other people watu wengine we can respond with some words of wisdom tunaweza kuwajibu kwa maneno ya busara for instance the person says you are too slow wewe na unajivu tafuta bwana and then you say unamwambia Yes, I'm a little turtle. Rambia, sawa, sawa. I'm Nanda. very slow. Sawa, mini, ne, ne, pole pole. Help me. Naumbo, so, it depends on each person. Ko inategemea, na, ni mtu wa ina gari, wakila mtu. And for each person is different. Wakila mtu, na kuwa tofauti. You ask God for wisdom. Nazima umuombe mungu, akupe heki makabila na chanamu. Now, if it's a co-worker, kama ni mfanya kazi mwenzako, we can sit down and say, naweza tukakaa pa mwenye ulikasema. I see your point of view. Ni meona jambo la kulu ni amina. I have my point of view. Na mi pia na mtazamo wangu. At this point, we have different ideas. Lakini kwa tika mtazamo huu, sote tuko tofauti. I can understand your perspective. Ni naerewa mtazamo wako. Can you understand my perspective? Na mimi naomba pia utazamu angalie mtazamo wangu. Is it possible we have two different points of view? Inawezekana je tunaweza tukakaa pamoja tukatatua tatizo hili? We can still accept each other. Ili tuweze kufikia makubaliano. And then we can be peaceful together. Na tupate amani katikati yetu. And I won't attack your way. Na mimi nisikutukane. And you won't attack my way. Na pia usinitukane. So for some people we can suggest a way to improve. Kwa watu wengine tunaweza kutoa mapendekezo jinsi gani tunaweza kuimarika au kuboresha mahusiano. Do you understand what I'm saying? Unaelewa tunachokisema? We need to handle the way of communication. Tunahitajika tuweze kushughulika na njia nzuri ya kuweza kupata mawasiliano. But with different kinds of people is different method. Kwa watu tofauti tofauti pia njia zinabadilika sawa sawa. Okay. But most of the time, all the time. Lakini wakati wote the best way first is to forgive, be nice, with whatever people, it works best. To change the most stubborn person is still patience and kindness. Now for some families, Basi katika familia zingine this person always yao huyu mtu ambaye kila siku ni kelele tu and when you go home unapofika tu nyumbani kelele you always yao yeye lazima akupigie for years yani yeye ni sehemu ya maisha yake na itakuwa ndio maisha hayo have you found that mmeshaona watu wa namna hiyo so we need to change the pattern kutunahitajika tubadilishe mfumo that's why jesus said ndio maana yesu akasema repay wickedness with goodness Kwa uvumilivu na upendo mkuu. Okay, that's great wisdom. Okay. So I hope you have the motivation from God. Tumai kwamba mepokea maumaneno haya mazuri kutoka kwa Mungu. My life is very precious. Kwamba maisha yangu ni ya thamani sana. I can do great things for God. Naweza kufanya mambo makubwa kwa Mungu. I don't want to waste my life. Sihitaji kupoteza maisha yangu. If someone kama mtu throw his wallet in the sea akichukua bari akichukua nani pochi yake akatupa kwenye ziwa kule chini will you say please give it to me eti mtu ametupa nani yako unaambia naomba nipe hiyo mimi nichukue usitupe kule inawezekana but do we sometimes throw our life wakaje na sisi tunaweza je kuna wakati mwingine na sisi tumejikuta kama tunatupa maisha yetu ndani ya bahari we waste our life tunachukua maisha yetu mazuri tunaenda kuyazamisha ndani ya bahari because some bad people kwa sababu ya watu wabaya walio tuzunguka you want to waste your life unataka uvuharibu maisha yako i don't want to waste my life yeye hahitaji kupoteza maisha yake therefore stay in joy kwa lazima akae akiwa na hali ya amani let me tell you hoja niwaambie i have been mistreated by many people huyu bwana ameshachukua na watu wengi sana God after experience of the Holy Spirit baada kunyanyaswa na watu wengi God taught me how to take care of Mungu akamfundisha jinsi gani ataweza kabiliana And I decided not to be affected by Na sasa hivi ameamua kuwezi kuathirika na maneno mabaya Kumbuka hili katika kuhitimisha Don't eat garbage Sema usire uchafu Say it Usire uchafu Sema usire uchafu Usire uchafu Eat good things from God. Kula vitu vizuri kutoka kwa Mungu. Kula vitu vizuri kutoka kwa Mungu. Eat good things from people. Eat kula vitu vizuri kutoka kwa watu. 
Lakini usire uchafu. Now this is a teaching you have to help each other and to teach over and over again. Hii ni fundisho ambalo inahitajika tuweze kukumbushana sisi wenyewe na pia tufundishe na wale wengine. Amen. You find that it's very hard for people to learn it. Utakuta kwamba watu wengine na kwa vigumu sana kulielewa. Lakini na mimi nimeelewa, si ndio jamii? Welcome kama umeelewa pongo. Welcome to with a prayer. Tutajumisha na tutahitimisha kwa maombi tusimame. Welcome to with a prayer. Tusimame tuhitimishe kwa maombi. If you have question, you can ask me again. You can always ask me with interpretation. Okay, let us rejoice in the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 At this point, Lord, help us. No, 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 no. You don't pray. 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 At this point, we ask God to help us to think of one person who has been hurting us, who has made life difficult for us, and we think about this person. This person might have been hurt by many people. This person might have a lot of bitterness. It's hard for this person to take care of his anger. Oh Lord, help, help us to have compassion on this person. Lord Jesus, even though we rejected you, you have always forgiven us. You seek us. You are always kind to us. We thank you for your unconditional forgiveness. We ask God to help us. When we think about these people who hurt us, we can say their life is difficult. Their life maybe is miserable. They need your love. Oh Lord, help us to have compassion on them, to love them, and forgive them, and not to take the word seriously. And also, Lord, we come to you. Some of us have great hurt feelings inside. We have been hurt by people. Inside us. Some of us might feel very hurt. We might have unhappiness. We might feel life is miserable. We come to you. Lord, set us free. 
heal our soul. Sikia maombi yetu. Jesus loves us. Asante Yesu unatupenda. Oh, hallelujah. At this point let Jesus love you. Wakati huu mwache Yesu sasa umeshe upendo wake. And heal your heart. Na aponye moyo wako ulipojilia. And comfort your heart. Uweze kukupa tumaini tena jioni ile. Because Jesus takes all our suffering. Kwa sababu Yesu alichukua matatizo yetu yote pale Calvary. Jesus takes all our pain. Yesu alichukua maumivu yetu yote. Yesu. Yes, you love us. How do you say? Yes, you love us. Jesus loves us. Yes, you are to penda. Yes, you are to penda. Anna to penda. Yes, Anna to penda. Yes, yes, you Anna to penda. Yes, yes, you Anna to penda. Yes, Anna to Penda, the Bible tells me so. Oh Lord Jesus, please comfort our heart. Wana Yesu tunakombo is a kutupa to my name. Jesus, hold us in your arms. Yesu to Shikiri and Mikononi Mwako. Heal our heart. Gia Nani Amuzit, Sasa. Comfort our heart. Nenda utupevu mirivu sasa. Set us free. Tufungue chana waleo. Thank you, Jesus. Asante, Yesu. Thank you, Jesus. Asante, Yesu. We need you. Tunakuitaji. To heal our heart. Tunaitaji uponye miyo zetu. To set us free. Uweze kutueka huru sasa. Oh, Alleluia, Yesu. Lord, help us to forgive. Baba, tusaidie kueza kusame. Let us declare together. In Jesus' name, I want to forgive that one person. Katika jina la Yesu nataka ni same huyu mtu mmoja liye ni kuse. Now, say this now. In Jesus' name. Katika jina la Yesu. I want to forgive this person. Ni nataka ni same mtu huyu. Nataka ni same mtu huyu. Oh, Jesus, yes, you know. I want to forgive this person. Oh, yes, you are the same to you, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Asante, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Asante, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now today we don't have much time. When you have, when you have time, leo hatuna muda mwingi sana ukiona nafasi in your daily prayer katika maombi yako ya kila siku or even when you are wish are, are doing your dishes or cooking or walking unatembea unaosha vyombo vyako you can handle some of this negative feelings. Unaweza kuanza kushughulikia hisia hasi ambazo ziko ndani yako zinazuia baraka zako. Handle some of this hurtful feelings. Anza kushughulika na mambo ambayo yamekuumiza ndani ya moyo wako. So that you can be set free. Ili uweze kufunguliwa leo. It will take time to do it. Inaweza kachukua muda kufanya hivyo. Uh, the condition is if you want me to forgive you, you have to give me some money or you have to uh, you know, uh, do something. Kwa baswali ni hivi kwa mba, kama wale wanandoa megumbana, alafu mtu moja anatoa shariti kwa mba, ili asameo atue kitu. And I would not, you know, uh, say that, you know, forgiveness based on money. Dei atasema kwa mba, msama unoto kana na kitu kama fedha, ntulia mfano wa fedha. Because if it's based on money, then it's not real forgiveness. Kwa kama ule msama unashari chindani yake labda unipe fedha, the question is how do we how do I motivate people to forgive? Swali hapa ni kwamba ni njia gani wewe unaweza kutumia kama mchungaji kufundisha watu ili waweze kusamehana bila mashariti. Now for for a couple like that first thing, first thing I do I wanandoa kama hao kitu cha kwanza cha kufanya ni hiki. I will do counseling. Ataanza kuwashauri. I will listen to both sides. Lazima usikilize pande zote. When I listen to both sides. Ukisha sikilize hizo pande zote. I always agree on each side that they are suffering. Lazima kila moja ukubaliane nae kwamba anatatizo. Now, I want to say that this, you know, because men and women are different. Lazima anasema hivyo kwa sababu anajua mwanamuke na mwanaume wako tofauti. Women like men to care for them, to listen to them. Wanaume wanataka wanawake wanataka wanaume wawajari na wetayari kwa sikiliza. 
And men usually pay attention to action. They don't like to talk much. If they talk, it's just about theory, things. Not about feelings. And men just want to do things. So, and a man like the woman to be gentle and nice to him. The woman is unhappy, so the woman will nag the husband. And then the wife wants the husband to be nice and listen to her. And she'll be nagging. So the husband perspective is she's nagging all the time. She's angry all the time. So in that way the men suffer. And in the same way the woman suffer because she said the husband doesn't take care of my kids. The husband doesn't listen to me. The husband doesn't help. So when I do counseling, I will tell the couple for, to each one of them, I know it's not easy for you. I know you are not happy. So I would first feel their feelings. I say out the feelings to let them know that yes, they are suffering. And then I will ask each one of them can you remember the good times you had when you were And also, I will ask them the good things of each other. See if they can say the good things about the other person. See if they can say the good times in the past. If they can say the good things about their person, then I will say, then do you want to build up the relationship again? When the relationship is built up, you are following God's will and you both enjoy each other and enjoy God. Now, if they are willing, then I will help them how to communicate. Now, for most couples, the way they communicate is like a lot of law. A lot of law. For instance, the, the husband will say to the wife, You neck too much. You are not nice anymore. And then the husband will say to the wife will say to the husband, You don't answer my question. You don't talk to me. You don't care about me. Now these are all, all accusations. Most couples continue to accuse. That's why the relationship is being broken down. So I will guide them and do some teaching on words of grace and words of the law. Words of the grace will be something like this. I thank you for being nice to me. I thank you for taking care of the children. You have been helpful to me. I'm so happy to have you. So these are words of grace. And then words of the law, we can still say a nice way. Uh, 
Can we build up the marriage together? Tunaweza tena kuanza kujenga mahusiano yetu kwa upya. Now build up the marriage is work. Kujenga mahusiano hiyo ni kazi. So that is the law. Hiyo ni sheria. But we can say in a nice way. Lakini tunaweza kusema kwa njia nzuri. Can we build up the marriage together? Tunaweza kuanza tena kujenga mahusiano yetu upya. And we we'll both benefit. Ili sisi sote tuweze kufaidika. Can we Can we uh, talk about this peacefully? Can we try to solve this problem? Can we appreciate each other more? Can we discuss how to solve problems? So these are gentle ways of bringing up how to heal the family. Okay. Now this is a counseling process. I just summarize it in a few minutes.